So myself and my buddy Jeff Evans were both mechanical engineers and were marching around as interns at the Goodyear plant in Topeka, Kansas. Rest in peace, Jeff. We're very impressionable and we have this one engineer that works with us and his catchphrase was, Ah, oh, that'll never work. So that was Carter McClendon. He taught us a lot and he taught us that a lot of things will never work. At the very end of this internship, we find out that his name isn't even Carter. He just made that up. But for the rest of our lives, we remembered, nah, that'll never work. And if you learned the same thing, then I'm here today to tell you it probably will work and here's one way that it will. Here's a grand idea. You take something like a pencil sharpener that works great for wood, and then you make a larger size one. You have this chamfer tool that goes chatter, 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 doesn't come out all that clean. And then you have this tool that is taking uh, quite some finesse and it still isn't super easy. So why can't we have a sleeve like this pencil sharpener that is the same size as the stock and you slide it in and you put a chamfer on it. And then instead of steel right here, we'll take one of these $1 beautiful, super strong carbide bits and then it's even modular. So why doesn't this invention exist already? Well, this thing is a one size fits all, all right? That's proof that people want the thing we're thinking of. Here's a demand curve for different ideas. And of course, some ideas are more in demand than others. The proposed design isn't like this, it's like these. And the demand is divided between all the different sizes that you could want. Now, good ideas live up here, but if you have to divide them between every different size, then each size might just live down here. So we have a plausible explanation of why it probably does work, Carter, and it's just not worth it for the manufacturers to mass produce them. And I am personally seeing a thousand great ideas that people simply are not trying out on their own because they just think, for some reason, it won't work. You probably noticed that hole saws and sockets and things that have sizes are always overpriced. Well, they don't cost that much to manufacture. They just have to jack up the price because of the cost of distribution to make it worth it for the manufacturers or retailers. Yeah, I just have a feeling that there's a million people not trying their great idea because they're thinking like Carter and I hope this video helps.